it was time to find out the results. The moment of truth. You ready? With my wife, Karen, she didn't want me to be alone for this. I went to the headquarters of Navigenics, the company that analyzed my DNA. We were both really nervous. You're welcome. Here we go. Genetic testing's scary for a lot of us, but it's important to remember what I wasn't going to find out, as Dr. Vance Vignier of Navigenics told me. And that's a point that we have to, you know, reinforce over and over again. This is not your destiny. These are new risk factors, just like high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Thank you so much for coming. Make yourselves comfortable. How comfortable can I get? Very. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we found out my results from Alyssa Levin, a genetic counselor at Navigenics. How bad can it be? I say that now. <laughs> Alyssa explained the tests then. And here are your specific results. There it was, my DNA risk profile for a whole host of diseases, including Alzheimer's. It turns out I am somewhat more at risk for getting Alzheimer's, a 19% lifetime risk compared with 9% for most men. Could have been worse. Uh, that, mm -hmm. I, I think that's, that's one way mm -hmm. it feels. But it also feels empowering. It does. I know. Yeah. It is heavy duty. That's it. For Meryl Comer, who allowed us to be with her in Washington when she learned her results before she called her counselor, it was worse. My overall risk? Oh, my God. She had two of the genetic markers, a 37% lifetime risk. I will put my life in order. I will tell everybody how much I love them. I will live the moment. And it's a piece of information, and I'll fight harder. That's all. That's what we do. Merrill will fight. That's who she is. And the scientists will fight. It's a battle they know they can win. We all have to fight to end the scourge of this terrible disease, to take responsibility for our health and for each other. I think it means we have to plan. Long-term care plans, you know, psychologically be prepared. Karen and I have been married nearly 20 years, for better or worse, in sickness and in health. You'll take care of me. I'll take care of you. <laughs> I love you.